Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about the German young star Florian Wirtz. This is a player that has spoken about Barcelona recently and we are going to be starting with his interview because Florian Wirtz did say this and I quote, I always want to be the best. As a kid, I dreamt of playing for Barcelona. That had not changed, but it can wait. I actually had a few posters hanging in the room. Messi, Dembele and Aubameyang, for example. My first jersey, however, was Messi's Argentina jersey. When I was little, he was the best player. Nobody can play like him. So this is basically confirming that yes, Florian Wirtz, again, who is a very young German star, his favorite team, it is FC Barcelona. And yes, it is true. We have talked about how Barcelona have been interested in this central midfielder here. Barcelona have scouted Florian Wirtz throughout this season and they have been very impressed. And when we do talk about Wirtz, right, like his season has been very impressive. And at the age of 18 years old, he has scored a total of 10 goals and provided 14 assists again as a attacking midfielder he is truly having a breakout season he is one of the reasons on why Leverkusen has been seeing a lot of success through this season because right now they do sit in third and they have done tremendously well and that is also because again like I have said it is because of Florian Wirtz and many have also praised this player like for example the German head coach Hansi Flick has said this and I quote Florian is just a huge asset for this team through his carefulness. He's simply an outstanding technician, loves to play, very creative, has a good shot, runs hard, and is quick. He's got a good total package. And then we can move on towards another stat that basically explains the under-21 players with the most assists in Europe top five leagues this season. Vinicius Jr. is in first place with a total of 16 assists. And then Florian Wirtz, who is again 18 years old, playing for Bayern Leverkusen, has a total of 14 assists. One of the reasons on why Florian Wirtz is even in second place, it is because he does not have the best striker in the world. If he had the best striker in the world, he would be having a much higher number in terms of the assist. And so if you give this player the best surrounding, if you give this player a, let's say for example, Ansu Fati, a Ferran Torres, or a Dembele, you better bet that Florian Wirtz is going to be having a massive amounts of assist. And so we are going to be discussing, is Florian the right fit for FC Barcelona? But before we go into this video, I do want to speak about our sponsor, the OneFootball app. The OneFootball app, it is the best football app that you could find within the App Store. If you do want to find out any information regarding your favorite player or your favorite team, if you want to find out what's currently going on in your favorite league, whether it's La Liga, the Premier League, the German League, any league or any player that you do want to follow, all of that is going to be compact within the OneFootball app. There's also articles that you can read. There's also videos that you can see. It's a very entertaining app, a very informative app. And so if you guys do want to download the one football app you can so by scanning the QR code that you do see here on the screen with your camera that's on your phone or if you do not have a camera you can also just click on the link that will be provided in the description box down below it'll take you straight to the app store then you can download the one football app set exactly who you do want to follow and then you'll be set and done from there it is for free it is the best app you guys will not be disappointed and now let's get back into the video so is Florian the right fit for FC Barcelona and if there's one thing that we have to know regarding this player is going to be this. He's very young and he's also very talented. His contract does not end until the summer of 2026 and his fee according to Transfer Market has been claimed to be at 77 million euros. So Barcelona if they really do want this player, if they really think that this is going to be the player that can compete with players like Pedri and Frankie and Gavi, they're going to have to negotiate very well. They're going to have to negotiate a lower fee and they're going to have to find a salary that can fit their salary cap. But putting that aside, does someone like him tactically fit within Barcelona? Because this is a pure 10, a pure number 10, a pure attacking midfielder. At Leverkusen, they do play a 4-2-3-1 with Florian playing as the central attacking midfielder in that three-man midfield. And then even at Germany with Hansi Flick, they also function in a 4-2-3-1 with Florian being used already by Flick as a attacking midfielder. And so that is his definitive position. That is where he creates the most amount of goals and the most amount of assists is a very similar position to what Coutinho could do. So one thing is very clear. If we talk about Florian coming to Barcelona, it's going to be his very first experience on knowing what it's going to be like to play in a 4-3-3 system, to play as a central midfielder in a three-man midfield. But this player does have all the capacity in the world, all of the talent in the world to truly play within Pedri's position or Frankie's position or Gavi's position. His style and his passing is very similar to how Pedri 
does play if you guys do see how he plays on the field it's a very similar style in terms of how they pass it where they pass it how they move the type of runs they make the his ability to always dribble around players is superb he also does like to have a lot of fun like doing a lot of nutmegs through players he is a very entertaining player a very definitive player and the fact that we're able to say that yes Florian is a very similar player to Pedri that is a green light if Xavi's looking at Florian and saying okay this guy here he can be the replacement of Pedri if Pedri ever goes missing or is absent or is injured this is your answer here yes it is true because look we look at the position that we are in right now Pedri is out Pedri is going to be out for the rest of this season and we need to be prepared the next time this does happen because right now Xavi is in the board thinking what do we need to do next who is going to be that player to replace Pedri in the meantime and if we had someone like Florian he would be that player to replace Pedri because right now we are missing that creativity we are missing those dribblings within the midfield and Florian can give exactly that and the fact that he has also claimed right that he does have posters of Messi and Aubameyang and some other players it's very interesting because this really does remind me of the same situation of Kylian Mbappe and how he has claimed that I have Real Madrid posters all over my wall it just tells me right and it tells everybody here that Florian does look at Barcelona and he says yes I love that style I love the way they play I love the way Messi plays I like the way Xavi has his Barcelona team right now I want to play there I do believe that I can make it to a team like that and so in the future whether it's going to be in this summer or maybe in the summer of 2023 depending on how Barcelona do approach this and what they do prioritize if we can see a midfield and our interiors right our options being Pedri, Frankie, Gavi and Wurtz that would be amazing having Pedri being that starter always within that central midfield position and then alongside with Frankie that will be amazing and then having Gavi coming in for Frankie and then words coming in for Pedri and then be rotating through the season Xavi is going to be having a great time having players like that now the reason why I'm not naming players like Ricky Puj or Nico Gonzalez is because I do not know how Xavi does think about Ricky Puj I do not know whether he has a future with Barcelona hopefully he does but right now Xavi is really making it seem like Ricky Puj does not have a future with this club and then when it comes to Nico Gonzalez I do not think that he will be leaving this club I just think that his role and his position within Barcelona it is going to change because I just do not see Nico as an interior he looks very lost every time he is playing as an interior in the squad he just seems like he does not know what to do when he does receive the ball that high up the pitch he looks way more comfortable as a central defensive midfielder and so I'm just going to say that if we can have our interior options being Pedri, Frankie, Gavi and Florian that can do a lot for Barcelona we have the rotation we have the talent we have the work ethic and most importantly these will be four midfielders that can bring so many goals to this squad but that is going to be wrapping up today's Barcelona daily news thank you guys so much for watching if you guys are new here welcome to the channel please like subscribe comment and i will see you guys in the next video